And like Rick Riordan is could not be more different from J.K. Rowling. But just to start with like the money stuff, like he is a very normal, like normal person. Like his parents are both like creative. Like his dad does like ceramics. His mom was like a writer. They were both teachers. His grandparent, all of his grandparents are teachers. You do not have money if you were a teacher. <laughs> like yeah. you don't. And so like even with him and his wife, like they lived in San Francisco. They had their first kid that has like um, dyslexia and ADHD. And that kid needed so much attention that his wife like quit her job and was literally like, this child needs me. I just need to be home all the time. And they lived in San Francisco on his like teaching salary. Yeah, that sounds so bad. <laughs> oh my God, which is why they like moved back home to Texas because it's much cheaper to live in Texas than San Francisco, obviously. But like he ended up getting into publishing um, when children's publishing was still like kind of struggling as an industry. He was a very normal person. He was a teacher who started trying to publish his own stories because it was his like thing that he loved to do on the side. I don't think he ever expected to become such a popular published author that he could quit teaching purely just to publish books. But that was, I don't think that that was it's something he ever thought he was ever actually going to do and so that is such like a more normal story that like he doesn't have to cosplay being a poor person he doesn't have to act like his life was garbage you don't even there isn't even that much about his life before he got married and all that kind of stuff because it doesn't matter like who he is doesn't matter if you write a good story you actually have like this might be crazy JK Rowling, but when you are a good person and you're generally trying to do something for a good reason, not because of yourself, you don't have to lie about who you are in order to get what you want because like the, the goal of what you want just like comes through. That is the only reason why he wrote these books is because he wanted to help kids. JK Rowling wanted to help herself. She wanted to be famous. That's the, that's the reason why she wrote these books. She wanted money. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to become like a famous author. I don't know why she thought an author was the way to go because it's not exactly known as a field that you make a lot of money in, but you know, she did. So I guess it worked out for her. <laughs> yeah. But still like that, you can tell it's those little things when you look at their stories and particularly how they respond to like criticism mm -hmm. where you can see what someone's initial like kind of why they want to do this is there like jk rowling literally mocks people who don't like her on twitter every single day all day rick riordan left social media where the only things that are ever posted are like i'm sure that it's somebody else on his team that posts the things that he posts that are basically updates about the tv show now on his social media but otherwise he doesn't res like every video he posts even on TikTok, the comments are always off he doesn't like re reply to people at ever and he hasn't for years because he would say things sometimes that would that he realized was hurting people like his fans like feelings from different like different backgrounds around the world um like yeah. i remember when um a couple months ago i was just like what does he think about palestine and so i looked i just googled like rick riordan israel and the first thing that came up was a blog that he wrote seven days after everything started in Palestine, when most people were avoiding even talking about it still. And he wrote a blog saying, I've gotten letters from kids in Israel and kids in Palestine talking about how they live through war and that they get like something out of my books. And it makes the books makes them feel understood because these kids are in the middle of a war in these books and that he doesn't want to say anything to make either of them feel like like betrayed by him but but the blog goes on to him saying like what Israel is doing is 100% wrong this needs and this was the first week of this back in October he was like this is wrong this needs to stop you're dehumanizing people military action is never going to be the way to solve any of this shit you need to stop right now and <laughs> Like, but he took the time to say that because he cares about what the kids who read his books feel about him around the world. And they don't want him, he doesn't want to disappoint them. 
And so in, t in the past when he has said things because he generally doesn't know because he's a white dude from Texas, he just stopped talking about that stuff online, not because he doesn't want to avoid like, you know, a scandal or whatever, like some authors have been doing about Palestine lately, because if he did, he would never have talked about Palestine ever. Yeah. Uh, but like, because he doesn't want to accidentally say something that hurts someone that reads his books and looks up to him. And while you go on Twitter and JK Rowling is retweeting fans that are crying about how she's a fascist and she's like, you're so stupid. <laughs> That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> yeah.